And you look out to the west, Vancouver, south to Portland, San Francisco, east into Idaho, uh, portions of Utah getting some pretty good snow and rain. And that's that next weather maker that's going to be moving our way. I've already put together a snow map for this thing. Uh, this is going to be mainly, I think, Friday, later morning into the afternoon, although it will begin developing during the morning rush. Less than an inch, I think, east of the district. The district getting about one to three, and then it could be two to four north and west. So lots that we're tracking here in the forecast. Now, the cold weather, that's first. It's going to feel only like the teens at best during the warmest, air quotes, part of the day through about noontime, through about 2, 3 o'clock, maybe 20 degrees, a real field temperature, and then wind chills dip back down into the teens single digits by the time you're waking up early tomorrow morning, about 4.30 a.m. Uh, and 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Taking a look in the longer term, this is our graph computer model. Look at the cold temperatures sticking around all the way through the day on Thursday. Temperatures only in the 30s, and this sets us up for that next system Look at that snow by Friday, 630 AM, right during the heart of that morning commute beginning to develop, and it looks like it intensifies through the day through about 435 o'clock, still snowing. So again, that's why I'm saying later morning into the afternoon, that's when it could be worst. Hopefully temperatures do eke above freezing there, which would help us to melt some of that on the roads. Wouldn't be an overnight situation like we saw the last time around, so that would help. But nonetheless, weather watch alert is out for Friday. That could be travel problems, cold next couple of days, and then frigid into this weekend before a warm up into next week.